meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interest is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with provisions of this act, the Belvedere Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date, time, and place thereof posted with the Star Ledger and the Express Times submitted to the town clerk and the town of Belvedere on January 16, 2018. Flight, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Mr. Blum? Mrs. Pepino? Here. Dr. Zepha? Here. Mr. Lavar? Here. Mr. Lucas? Mr. Matlock? Here. Mr. McInerney? Here. Mr. Mitchell? Here. Mr. Smith? Here. Mrs. Stephan? Mrs. Williams? Next on your agenda, you'll see the results from the November 6, 2018 school board election. Elected um, for a three-year term with Mr. Smith and Dr. Zappa, and for a two-year term with Mr. Stephan. I'd like to swear in Mr. Smith and Dr. Zappa. Just a swear. Yeah. That can happen later. Just <laughs> swear in or swear in? Swear in. <laughs> Both this stand and repeat after me. Aye, state your name. Aye, Aye Robert Sutton. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the same. To the same. And to the governments. And to the governments. Established in the United States and this state. Established in the United States, United States and this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I state your name. I pray. I Robert Do you solemnly swear. Do you solemnly swear. That I possess the qualifications. That I possess the qualifications. Prescribed by law. Prescribed by law. For the office of member of a board of education. For the office of member of a board of education. And that I will faithfully. And that I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all duties of that office. Perform all the duties of that office. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. If you could sign and pass the door. At this time, I'd like to take nominations for the position of president of the Belvedere Board of Education. I nominate Sean McInerney. Second the nomination. Any other nominations? to close the nominations for president? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. McInerney? Can you stick back in? <laughs> Drop my phone. <coughs> Thank you. Can we vote on Mr. McInerney? All in favor? So you did vote. Yeah, we, we did. did. We can do that. <laughs> I guess I'll have an attorney here. Okay. Ms. Spatino? Yes. Dr. Zuppi? Yes. Mr. LeBar? Yes. Mr. Matlock? Yes. Mr. McInerney? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. And Mr. Schmidt? Yes. Uh, do we have uh, nominations for uh, Vice President? I nominate Don Mitchell. Second. Any, any other nominations? I move the nomination to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? We do a roll call. Mm -hmm. sure. I didn't know we needed to do roll call. Yeah, I apologize. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Pitino? Yes. Dr. Zeppa? Yes. Mr. Lavar? Yes. Mr. Matlock? Yes. Mr. 
McInerney? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. And Mr. Blanc? Here. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, board committee appointments. So um, if we could just, um, Shelly, can we get out the, the current list uh, to the board members? Mm -hmm. And then if anyone's interested in any change in uh, board committee assignments or if anyone's interested in uh, chairing a committee, uh, just get back to me and then you can just uh, let Chris know as a courtesy as well. And then we'll, we'll take that up at the next meeting. Can you get uh, Mrs. Williams who signed some stuff? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Ms. Uh, Colleen Williams, was, uh, she was assigned to finance and policy. Mm -hmm. well, once we get a full list of people, can we get it? updated on the computer too? Yes, or we should. Yeah, we should be able to do that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. With, con with all the contact information, Clay? Yeah, Emails and, and contact? And who's, in what and position. who's on what committees. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Good. Um, okay, in terms of uh, our agenda, um, items uh, one through four, do we have a motion to second? Motion. Second. Discussion. Just know we did not put a June, uh, July board meeting date on there as we tend to have uh, attendance issues in July. So if anybody has a major objection to that, if not, we'll, we'll keep it that way. We bumped the August meeting up by a week and the June meeting is the last week in June to sort of somewhat compensate for that. What did you bump up a week again? Sorry. The August meeting we usually have the last week in August and the June meeting we usually have actually two weeks ahead. We usually have that at the week of the graduation. So we could and just one meeting for October, huh? Just one meeting for October. For the school board conference? School board school conference is that way it comes up that month. I was thinking it was November. Okay. Um, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? New York, roll call. Was this a roll call AM10? Real. Huh? I apologize. I am. Okay, roll, roll call, please. Mr. Blum? Yes. Mrs. Pepino? Yes. Mr. Zucker? Yes. Mr. LeVar? Yes. Mr. Mallow? Yes. Mr. McInerney? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Shelley. Uh, moving on to our regular agenda, uh, public participation. We have our first <coughs> public participation. Do you have questions from the public this evening? or questions from the public? Correspondence? None. None? Superintendent's report. Uh, Mr. Tuck, I just want to apologize. The sign board is not operating at the moment, which is why we don't have the meeting up there for tonight. I know you always look for that, but we've been having some, uh, some sign board issues. So hopefully have that corrected as soon as possible. Um, just a few things to mention. Probably the, the most uh, Exciting thing is the opening of preschool yesterday. Um, it was it was a tremendous morning having the kids come in on the with their parents and went on the van. Uh, thanks to Morris Scott for, for doing the back and forth. Um, it was just fun to see the, the little kids and uh, Mr. Caribbean this isn't here, but we actually already had an issue. We had to talk to the kids about wearing uh, shoes during nap time. It was a little bit of an issue, but um, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But I do want to thank uh, Jimmy Barrick and, and the guys for getting their room together. Specifically, Bob Hunter spent a lot of time over break painting and really getting that room together. Um, it just looks amazing. And if you haven't had a chance to stop down, uh, feel free to do that, it looks great. Uh, Mrs. Endike is, is off and running with her class. Um, Ms. Scott has helped out quite a bit too, getting everything up together. So we've got a great team there, so we're really, really excited. So um, I think it's gonna be a great success for the district. Great. Uh, just the things we always like to mention, winter sports are in full effect. Uh, we have the girls basketball team playing tonight, so feel free to come out and, and catch a game. Um, you know, the, the kids always love to see all the adults come and see them play. And then two really final things. One very interesting ruling that was made by the uh, New Jersey, I think it's the appellate court, um, basically striking down the park graduation requirements, um, which we believe would extend also to the New Jersey student learning assessment requirements for graduation, but the class of 2020. 
So this year's juniors was that first group that had to, had to pass one, which was the English, uh, English 10 um, in algebra, uh, but that got struck down. So we are in limbo at the moment, and what that means, um, the majority of people that I've spoken to believe it'll probably put an end to park for sure, um, and a possibility of putting an end to standardized tests is a gradu graduation requirement as well. Um, so we're waiting to see. Uh, the commissioner reached out to all the superintendents yesterday personally to say, hang in there basically. We're, we're waiting to see what the state does and then what the governor does. On that. So it, was, it was a significant ruling um, that we've been following the, the park mm -hmm. uh, saga since it's come in. And then finally, I'd like to just take a moment to announce our Wall of Fame inductees for this year, 2019. Uh, I'll read them off. Uh, Gene Brandt, who I believe is associated with the wrestling program. Um, congratulate him. Our field hockey teams from 1989 and 1990, which were both state champions, will be honored. As will uh, Sal Uberoth, as uh, she'll be honored, one as a coach of those teams, and secondly, for her dedication to the district for many years. Uh, we also have uh, William Thompson, Billy Tom Thompson, who's the current CSA over in Lake Township, who um, did some great things here academically and athletically. And finally, one of our board members, Mr. Tad Labar, will be inducted. Uh, so if you are free the evening of Friday, the 18th of January, feel free to come. The Wall of Fame inductions will take place before our wrestling match against North Warren. So it should be a good evening. Uh, we're excited for our second grouping going into the, the Wall of Fame. Um, we think we have great representation of, of who Belvedere is. I'm sorry, Chris, what was the date again? It is January the 18th. I believe it's at 6 uh, with the wrestling match against North Warren Fall. Well, congratulations to all. And that's my report. Excellent. A brief one on the. Uh, Any questions? Sorry, Chris. Questions? Uh, what about, was it this meeting or is there another meeting to talk about the foundation? We're going to do that in the second January meeting. Got it. Yep. Thank you. <clears throat> Can we have a motion and uh, second on items policy one through eight? Motion. Second. A lot of these are second reading. Brian, do you want to add anything you want to add? No. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? The personnel, and this was revised, so it's uh, uh, agenda items nine through fourteen B. We get a motion in the second. Say fourteen B or fifteen B. Fourteen. Fourteen. I'm sorry. Motion. Second. Discussion. Just trying to look. We, the 14 and 14 B were uh, two positions that came up since our last personnel meeting, um, but the other ones we did talk about in person. Any questions? Roll call. Mr. Blum? Yes. Mrs. Bacchino? Yes. Dr. Zappas? Yes. Mr. LeBar? Yes. Mr. Matlock? Yes. Mr. McInerney? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Uh, under education, and this was also a revision, uh, items 15 through 15B. Motion. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Under business, item 16. Motion. We have a second? Second. Discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Under continuing business, the only thing I would add was, as Brian mentioned, the foundation discussion will take place at the next meeting. Okay. And the one thing I would add, too, is I, I talked with Shelly just online earlier today. Um, we do still have a, uh, an open board seat. Um, 
we had only gotten one response through uh, getting the word out, so we're going to re-advertise. We can't consider that candidate. We should consider the person who responded. But I just thought with the holidays that it was prudent for us to put the word out one more time. Um, so we're going to do that through, I, I guess, a couple different uh, venues, correct? Right. We're going to ask the uh, principals to put it on their signboard um, outside each building. And we'll do an all call. I know the principals uh, who are active on social media, Twitter specifically, had already put that out there, but we'll just ask them to do that again. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any questions on it? Uh, any new business? Sean. Yes. Um, I had mentioned last meeting about the uh, booster club and the finances. Are there rules and regulations for the, for the uh, booster clubs? Do they have bylaws or that type of thing? I think some of that we're going to discuss in exec. Okay. Um, the, the answer to the bylaws question is, I believe there, there are bylaws, correct? There are bylaws, okay. yeah. But more deep? <laughs> Do they use them? They're required to have bylaws. Whether, whether they can produce the bylaws at this point is, is a separate question. I think that we need to do something with that as far as because they are operating on district property, mm -hmm. that there should be financial disclosures by them as to what money they've raised at what events and, right. and where the money went. Right now, um, to answer the question, Rob, is we do, we do require that. It's just that it's a once a year requirement. Um, and it's usually July that we ask for it. So do we you have disclosures from all of them? I'd have to go back and check. I know we, ha I would say we have disclosures from the majority of the booster clubs. I don't, I wouldn't, I can't say 100% all of them. I, think I know for the majority of look at. When you say disclosure, yeah. we're talking about an accounting of what was raised and what yes. was spent, yeah. correct? Yes. Like, so, okay, yeah. I just want to make sure we're, that we're clear in terms of what the question just, was. Just yeah. the fact that they, they're at um, soccer games or whatever and selling hot dogs and whatever and uh, cookies and cakes and right. drinks and that type of thing, and they're raising that money and it's like, okay, where did it go? Right. What did we do with it? Just, just because it's on our on the district property that they're raising the money and, and from people who are at those events, I think that they should disclose to us what, what happened with that. Yeah, we, we actually were talking agree. about possibly um, definitely seasonal rather than a once a year, mm -hmm. um, however you want to say it, accounting for it. I think because be I think a lot of times, and, and this would be a good example where by the time you get to July. I think like 30 days after the end of the season, yeah. they should have that disclosure to the board. And the board should approve all fundraising activities. We have to look at policy related to that. Um, so I think I believe it, it is in the policy. Yeah. So I, I, I just want to make sure. I just want to refresh myself in terms of what the policy requires. I don't know if it has a 30-day requirement, Bob. Um, 30-day requirement. It is in there. Oh, I don't know. No, that's what I'm saying. No. Yeah. I don't think it is. Yeah. So that's one. That's my point. Is that you know if we if there is policy, let's take a look at the policy and then make sure the policy is actually being enforced. Bob, you good? Okay. Um, we're going to do, we have, an, we have an exec session. We're going to do that. Or we're going to do the public participation first. Do public participation. Yeah, so we're going to do our public participation, then we do have an executive session. So we're, we're pointing out our agenda for our second public participation. Any comments or questions from the public this evening? Okay. Um, shall I get the Yeah. Do we have a motion to go in the executive? Motion. Second. Uh, it is hereby resolved the board will now go into private session to discuss personnel, personnel negotiations. and negotiations. Any discussion held by the board which does not remain confidential will be made public as soon as practicable. Minutes of the private session will not be disclosed until the need for confidentiality no longer exists. The board will reconvene in public session at the conclusion of the closed session. We may be taking action. We will, not be we will not be. We will not be taking action. Thank you. The effective employees were provided notice. There will be no discussion about particular employees. 